All right. There we go. Oh no, I'm almost out of drinky poo. Hmm? <laughs> However, oh, oh, that was like all up the nose. Oh. Oh, that clears out the sinuses, but oh man. <sighs> all up in the sinuses. Oh, Jesus. That is definitely a place Coca-Cola should never go. Note I said Coca-Cola and not Coke because Coke clearly is designed to go up the nose or, you know, intravenously applied. I mean, you shouldn't. Don't do that. Don't do drugs, kids. Crack is whack and all that. But, you know, oh, Coca-Cola is definitely not, not a pleasant experience up in those particular nose parts. I love the atmosphere in this game. I love it. Like... Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Hey, look at this. Look at this shit. I, you know, more power to you. I ain't gonna judge. Look how just serene this is. I love the nighttime Ulda music. I kind of miss the OG Ulda music, the one that's very desert-themed, but I love nighttime Ulda's music. Look how just chill and relaxing that is. I love the city. Like, I love the designs of the cities in this game. I love it. It's so easy to just kind of get sucked in. It, it does... Like, this... Stuff like this reminds me of why I fell in love with Final Fantasy XI, because it just... It feels... It feels kind of like a living, breathing world. Just in terms of just, like, the set design of nothing else. Like, I will never go into that building, but I want to know what that building is, and I want to know how that little dongle at the end actually stays up without the entire structural integrity of the rest of the building not just falling the fuck apart. Because that seems impossible, but clearly somehow it is. I'm gonna chill and run like this for a second. I'm just gonna let it, let it soak all in. Soak it all in? Words are hard. We gonna RP walk this shit full. I also feel slightly off center, and it's weird. Not really sure why. They're just the freaking reflections on the ground, on the granite, and everything. The giant, you know, the dude that has a giant glow around him. You know, that's totally normal. We're not going to question it. That's just, you know, a typical Saturday. A bird flying into a wall. You know, how birds are wont to do. Just flying headlong into a pillar. Because they don't know no better. Look at that. I mean, also, if I take reshade off, you can see the difference in terms of, you know, how quote-unquote immersive it is. Because, I mean, this looks great, too. This looks amazing. But reshade adds an entire different level of just... It's purdy. Nope. Nope. There we go. Uh, there we go. Buttons are hard. <laughs> yep. Alright, so... Here comes one of the longest cutscenes we're gonna see in a while. It's also pretty fucked up, too. I think this is, like, one of the first back-to-back-to-back cutscenes. I think there's, like, two or three in a row. Ah, the Conqueror of Copperbell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume, and Old Dog will have the materials she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. Hey, no, I was uh, joking or not. I was like, hey, you know, whatever. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure anything going up your nose is not going to be pleasant. I know that from the little COVID swirly gig test, like, I mean, that, like, tickles your freaking brainstem, man. Share the good times with Papa Sean the next time I see him. As for you, 
We want to report to Mamodi. It'll do the woman to see you well alive and alive and well in one piece. Oh, maybe this isn't one of the back to back. Nope, it is. No! Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. With a hairdo like that full? Please, sir, I didn't steal nothing. I bought this. Pay for it with my own coin. What rot. You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mold meat, much less a choice cut of dodo. I'm gonna say it once, one more time. Give back what you stole. I'll make you wish you never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blade, you know. I'll keep the streets safe from law-abiding citizens. And I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities need- Oh, no. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, no. No. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Fuck this dude. Fuck that. Nope. Mm-mm. Please tell me I can castrate this man. I remember this guy. Okay, you know, please tell me I can castrate this man. But I had done nothing wrong. Twelve was me witness. And I was just like, nope. Fuck that. Because capitalism. Please, adventure, help me, I beg you. I swear on your mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with my own coin I've saved. I only wanted to treat me children to a decent meal. Oh, fuck kind of a thing is that? He looks like he's about- never mind, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. And who the hell's are you when you're at home? This dog's master. I'm giant angry cat man, fool. I will F your day up. But enough of this mama's farce. You lot, teach them a lesson. Oh, please, please step to me. Please step to me. Any time now. Any time now. There we go. Oh, it's this music! So basically, this is a... The game's way of saying, like, there ain't no way you can lose this. This is a, let me show you what I'm made of. Hey, what is this? Only a warrior, warrior of light has these convictions or some such, apparently. Okay, so only warriors of light are decent human beings. Whatever. Cool. Alright. I love this battle music. It makes me so happy. Who shot your asses, fool? Oh, I'm gonna get three shot. How oh, unfortunate. Guaranteed crit. Get roasted. You can't see it, but I'm doing a little dance in my seat. Get fucked, fool. You best back off. All you people clapping and cheering. You didn't do a damn thing for this person. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventure. Thank you, thrice over. Thrice over. Whatever. Oh, snap. You know. Just another psychotic episode. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. The doctors, the, the you know, the thaumaturgs have said it will be okay. I promise. The song Reets of Yamatsu, by the way. This has got to be a 1.0 song. Were there more refugees than when I last looked? And you wouldn't be mistaken. But hasn't it been five years since the Calamity? Why are we only coming here now? Simple, really. A number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the Calamity. They were no longer able to support their communities. Residents found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from trade routes, and problems like those aren't easily solved. So they tried to make the best of it. It was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. Oh boy! Exposition man! I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? Is the same thing happening in other cities? Doc is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced, Uldala has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them, it truly does. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the city. 
here's an idea, you know, give them food and shelter and they probably won't break the law. All well, things do take a turn for the worse. We always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Garlean Empire patrolling the streets for riffraff? Fuck you, buddy. They will come to that. Harvest and desperate as they are, may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. Again, food and shelter would probably stop that. You know what this place is like. If you got no coin, you've no hope. As the blinged out dude is just like, yeah, no coin, no hope, man. Speak from me. Take it from me, you know? <sighs> what will become of our city? Maybe you can help the poor, and maybe they wouldn't turn to crime. Not all refugees are bad. Mind you, some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Get your dodo tenderloins. Guaranteed cheapest in Thandaland. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. I don't know why I gave him, like, a weird southern slash... Like, freaking New York Cockney accent. I don't know, man. Looking around, you think that old dog was well on his way to recovery. He's keeping it real. I mean, that's true. He is keeping it real with the bling and the bamboozling and the whatnot. Peer through the veil of prosperity and we'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Okay, now this dude's, like, woke. Like, you'll see no end to the, to the despair, but I'm just still gonna keep on walking. I'm gonna keep on rolling. Keep on keeping on with my fancy threaded mcdoodly do. It, sir, you're right. That's cool. It's cool. I just, you know, micro nap. It's fine. It's cool. You know. One of the dodo tenderloins did some weird shit to me. It's fine. But what now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? Just shut the fuck up, pal. I saw it by that meat, you say? That's absurd. I as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. You're popping up now. Who said that? Batman said that. What was that there? Ugh. Like, just uselessly punching towards the ground, but can't because, you know, that would hurt his, you know, precious little fingers. Grr. I will overlook this, but just this once. As he runs away. God's bless you, adventure. If you haven't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. Don't bear thinking about it. Yeah, no, the bad shit would have happened, assuredly. Bad shit would have happened. And cutscene number three. Case closed. Hello again. Wait, Ida? I've been keeping a close eye on you ever since you left Gridania. You discharged your duties on very impeccably and never once faltered in the face of myriad dangers. I'm a cat man. But more importantly, you were always ready to help those in need, even if you didn't stand, didn't stand earn a gill by doing so. You are peasant. You're possessed of all the qualities we seek in an adventure. Of this we are convinced. Even if you were kind of dragged into that business with the dodo meat. You lord, you just motherfucking stood there? Like, were you literally just waiting for to see if I would step in? Like, what the ball sacks? Yes, thank you, Ida. Mm. And then there's the matter of your gift. I dare say you were curious as to the nature of the vision you bore witness two moments ago. Well, we can help you understand it. And once again, you're all just like, yeah, you know, he's just having the occasional trip. It's fine. It's cool. You're not the only one with that power, you know. We have a friend who has it too. And we'd love for you to meet her. And meeting her is only the beginning, for we would also have you lend your strength to our cause. In return, we should be glad to assist your adventuring each others in whatever way we are able. Yeah, no, this doesn't sound like the beginnings of a cult. At all. Did you decide to take us up on our offer? And I sincerely hope you will. Pray, speak to Mamodi, the proprietor of the Quicksand is a good friend of ours. He will tell you where to find us. I love Papa Limo. He's so adorable. He's such a just little tiny little shithead. It's great. I mean, she is waifu material, but she's also like derpy waifu material. But she also has a tattoo on her neck, so you know, maybe. Wait a minute, we haven't even told you the name of our order. We're the signs of the Seventh Dawn, defenders of justice. Oh, but don't tell anyone except for Mamodi. She knows already. You're just going to stand on the street and be like, Oh yeah, by the way, we're part of this super secret organization that has people who see the future and shit, and so see the past of other people, and they can, you know, they can read minds and understand emotions. But by the way, it's secret, so don't tell don't, don't, don't anybody. Yes, yes, even to yourself, yeah? Well, thank you. Bye, we'll see you at our super secret hideout. Thank you, sweetheart. Like, what the... Ugh, Ida, sweetheart. My dear. Oh, 
took way took too many hits to the head, man. I mean, I guess that's the life of a pugilist, but on the real, though. Yep. That's a wall. There's the door. Good. Good. Amodi! There you are. Dumping on your table, jacking your shit. There you go. So many cutscenes to go through. When do they will end? Wait, when do they will end? When will they end? I words good. Seems like this is becoming ever more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry though, if you work hard, you'll probably be alright. Aw, she's given the newbie she's given the newbie speech. She didn't even give me this newbie speech, but I promise you she's given the newbie speech before. Just come and see me. Just don't go pest me every time you graze your knee, yeah? What's I do here in the gentleman's woes of a woman folk from time to time? Lola fellow's so cute. Ah, Garin, sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. Gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you've been in hard work dealing with giants in the dark. You're every ill in the adventurer me own said that you'd be. Station Master will be overjoyed when he hears the news. Oh, before I forget, this is the last year wants a word with you. Didn't actually know her name, but when hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Oh no! What? I for- Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. Buh? My name is Etta. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, truth be told. Oh, sweetheart. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends with Gadania when... When... I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. Oh, sweetheart. His name was Avera, and we were and I were to be wed in the spring. You may, not re you may not remember him, but he remembered you. But to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you were, you see. An adventurous adventurer. And swore that he would be like you one day. Oh, Why are you gonna make me feel guilty? I believe we would have exceeded if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Had a fiend not robbed him of the chance, since that day I've long thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. But when I think of the man you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I'm inspired just as Avera once was. And so I've decided to start anew. As an adventurer, I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. Or again, whatever. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask your name. I'm Giant Angry Catman, also known as Garn Worldbreaker. I shan't forget. Thank you, Garn Worldbreaker. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Adventuring can be a cruel, bleeding business. Time was I didn't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I did not want aught to do with you lot. Thought it'd be a right pain in the arse looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post, and I'm fully glad I did. I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. And that goes double for yours. You just you just want the swag. Eh, what did you say? You wanted to know about the signs of the Seventh Dawn? Hmm, beginning to move in earnest then. Yeah, no, that doesn't sound sinister at all. Listen, Garin, the signs aren't no ordinary folk. And the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Yay, quest complete! Give me loot, please. So if you want to know more, then do you? Well, it ain't that a surprise. I swear, I, if I paint... <laughs> well, <laughs> well, ain't that a surprise. I swear, if I paid it certain death on one door and limitless wealth on the other, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of it being old Don. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I like that. I like Mamodi. I, I appreciate the humor in this game. It doesn't show up as often as I'd like, to be honest with you, but I can totally appreciate it. First of all, if you're wondering where you can trust these Science of the Seven Dawn, you can. The good people who have made it their mission to solve some of Eorzea's most pressing problems. Of course, it ain't no small task, and they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where to find the signs, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you, well, don't worry, he already told half the fucking street, so <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. As you can probably imagine, it's something Eorzea's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in Western Thandaline. Yeah, I know, I already got the chocobo key point there. The place you're looking for is called the Waken Sands. Give them your name to whoever the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a man of the man, Garin. And the days ahead promise to be busy, but I hope you won't forget about them as they help make your way to the adventurer you are. Drop in and tell them how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Oh, yeah, no, I'm aware of just how many times I'm going to be dropping into talking to them. 
Right, well, I said my piece. Off you go. Off I go, then. Off I go, then. Get, get, get up. There you go. I'm walking in the wrong direction. I don't want to go that way. I got angry cat man. Running all derpy day. Wait, running derpy all day. There we go. I knew there was something that I wanted to say about it. Okay, uh, Vesper Bay. This is the most use I will be getting out of the Chocobo Keep until I actually get my Chocobo. Until I get my mount license. But hey, that's another two minutes of just chillaxing. Oof! And waiting. And just letting my, my voice rest, which admittedly is not going to happen because I'm just going to talk through it anyway. But, and just watching this poor Chocobo struggle so much to bear my giant angry cat man's weight. It's so adorable. I can't wait for him to have his own mount. I can't wait to see how ridiculous it's going to look to have him riding the, the Aramon? The, the giant floating eyeball creature mount. Because it already looks ridiculous enough on the Rogan, and he's like two times the size of it, and his legs are like over the thing's eye. This thing, it's, it probably looks like he's, you know... I mean, not that it's not already defying gravity, because clearly it is, but it's probably going to look like it's just... You know, he's just floating on top of it, completely detached. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. The only thing I don't like about the Chocobo Keep riding on this thing is that it basically keeps you to a... And this is the weirdest, most bizarre freaking gripe I'm sure that exists. But the fact that it keeps to one camera angle and you just kind of like loof around as you go around winding turns and everything. It just feels a little bit weird. It almost feels a little bit detached in a strange sense. Like, it's not my character. Like, I'm watching somebody else or I'm watching a weird cutscene or something like that, you know? The idea that if it kept behind me as I ran... I, I don't know. It's just... It's a really weird detail. I'm sure there's probably an option I'm missing. And it's not... It's hardly a deal breaker. It's just the weird tiny detail that I noticed exists. Hi, Arbor Buzzards. Bye, Arbor Buzzards. There are a lot of people with this little, like, Mandragora Tuft thing next to their name. So either those are new players, or there are people just creating new characters for Shiggles. I mean, granted, I'm kind of both. I'm creating a new character to re-experience the story, but I'm also a scrub, and I always have been. So I will gladly take the opportunity to be a Nublet and learn all my- and relearn all my Nublet things. So, okay, here we go. Yep. Let's hustle, Garin. Work all those muscles. Look at this. Arr. Like hawking, you know, the Incredible Hawk trying to speedrun stuff. It's adorable, but it's also so weird looking. Tataru. Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning through the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. La 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 la. I'm sure they're going to be trolling the shit out of people. I'm a hardcore casual. Yes, I'm a hardcore casual, but I am also a hardcore casual scrub. I, I freely admit that. Wah! Aww. I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. I'm like seven feet tall, woman! Now, please be advised that this is private property. Unless you have a pertinent business here, I must ask you to... I'm Giant Angry Cat Man, and I have an appointment. Be here at the behest of Ida and Papa Limo. My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? I am Garn Worldbreaker. Please check your records. Beep boop. Press 1 for more assistance. Ah, here you are. You got that many people on your list? Hmm, I bid you to the Walking Sands. The Walking Sands, the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Science of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tatru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. Wah! The ant... The ant... Antecedent. The Antecedent. The Antecedent is within the solar. I shall let her know to expect you. I mean, okay. Sup? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, let me see. Ow. Okay, well. Play time. I am at 8 hours and 28 minutes, and I am currently level 25. I will say I like the music 
in the Waking Sands. It's super, just very chill and relaxing. The antiseptic is <laughs> the antiseptic is in the solar. Yeah, pretty much. I take it you are Garon Moolbreaker. Taru was Tataru sent. I always called him. I always wanted to pronounce it to Taru. Apparently, it's Tataru. Okay, sure. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Minfilia is eagerly awaiting your coming. This way, if you please. All right, cutscene central. So you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Oh my god, actual voice acting. Well met, friend. <coughs> my name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Sup? We're just standing here. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. Like, you always know who the main characters are by how much skin is showing. The more skin that's showing, the more elaborate and completely insane their garb is, the more likely they are to be a major player. You know, you're not just going to see a dude, like, you can tell the dude at the left is not really a major player because he's dressed sensibly. But you know everybody else a major player is because they're wearing just weird bullshit. That makes no sense. You know, like, Ida is supposed to be a monk, but she's wearing, like... Dragoon Garter, she's basically wearing, like, the warrior AF gear from the hips down. And it makes no sense because that would make it so much harder to be able to do, like, kicks and flips and jumpy jumps. You know, when you're super rocking shit like that. Well, I'm sure in Minfilia's case you're okay with that, but also, like, the, the shit that she's wearing on her hips, wouldn't that dig into her hips? Why does she have armor on her hips but her entire midriff is shown? Like, what the f- like- it just, it will never make sense to me. I just, it always makes me mad. I mean, don't get me wrong. Aesthetics are cool, but also, like, doesn't she get cold? I mean, I know it's the desert, but it gets cold in the desert at night. What the ball sacks? Anyway. Sup? Aw, he smiled. No doubt you are right to best with questions. Yup. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. That doesn't sound evil at all. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. Mm-hmm. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You said that? An order that transcends political boundaries. Mm hmm Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Oh. Okay. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. And you're a secret organization because why? Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. So it's not just him and her. There are other people in here as well. This talent takes various forms. But one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Yeah, a few times now. Apparently I hit the acid too hard. Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space? A mind without a body? Yeah, that's called going to sleep. All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. I mean, that sounds cool and also horrifying at the same time. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. Oh, cool. So, like, reverse ESP. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. I got mind powers. My mind powers are amazing. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. Yeah, that kind of sounds like a huge drawback. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. 
With that established, let us return to the subject of the primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. So again, if you require the aid of people with your talent, why are you secretive? Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. Actually, never mind. I think I know the answer to that question, but whatever. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. It's not it's Final Fantasy, not Final Physics. I mean, you're not wrong. You're, you're absolutely not wrong, because there sure as fuck ain't no, no physics in Final Fantasy for the most part. I mean, look at her boobs. Look at that shit. They're like the size of my head, and yet they're just like, pfft, like straight out there. Polygons and everything, and I'm like, nah, man, you would need some serious, like... You'd need some kind of wire supports or something to make sure they stay that way. Like, I'm just saying, gravity... Gravity don't like the todays when they're that big. I'm sure plenty of people love them, but gravity doesn't. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Again, you're Why okay with that. would the gods entrust yeah. man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you... Lend us your power. Give in to your hatred. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunately have a number of influential allies, and at a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who will be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. Oh, my voice just cracked like I was a 14-year-old. Papers are requested, my lady. I mean, her voice doesn't sound like that, but whatever. Taru is so adorable. Because she's so normal and yet so petite. Thank you, Tataru. Or Tataru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to a retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult a retainer vocate. Vocate? Vocate? Vocate, vocate, sure. Retainer vocate. Regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but I believe when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Yes, they. I can sell shit on the auction house with them. Let this gesture serve as an evidence to our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask you aid us in the fullest extent of your talent. So literally, quid pro quo. Mutually beneficial relationship, I am sure you will agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a verifiable lecture, was it not? Well, at least you're self-aware about it. Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision... You may tell me without fear of censure. In short, I shall entrust you with our, our order's password, with our mar which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray can wait, I didn't even say yes first. Don't, don't you want to wait for me to say yes before giving me that shit? I'm tempted to start using I like the shape of your polygons as a pickup line. Now, I mean, do it. If, someone is, if someone's enough of a nerd that they'd be digging that, then by all means, like, go for that shit. I like the shape. Girl, I like the shape of your polygons. Mm-hmm. You got some high poly textures on you, don't you? You downloaded the most HD textures. Look at that shit. Mm-hmm. I don't see a single pixel on you. Girl, what's your makeup? What kind of makeup do you use? I don't see a pixel on you. You got that anti-aliasing going on. You're on, like, fucking MXAA times 16. Hot damn. Hey, I got a level. I'm level 26. I don't feel like I deserve it. <laughs> I got an ability called Full Thrust. Oh, that's perfect timing. Thank you, game. Thank you, game, for that. That's that's beautiful. She must be 4K. <laughs> Thank you, game, for that. That that just perfect comedic timing. That I applaud your ability to be a part of the joke. 
Okay. The signs of one objective to safeguard the future of Eorzea among our gravest concerns are the godlike... Yeah, you mentioned that. Long have they striven to find a lot... Yeah, you, you mentioned that. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to a... Like, you can tell that the way that they wrote these Realm Reborn quests... Exactly, right? The way that they wrote these quests, they were expecting you to have a gap between them, such that you would have to stop and then come back and get, like, a little bit of a refresher as to what the fuck is going on. So they kind of repeat the same shit over and over and over again, and that is my biggest gripe with Final Fantasy XIV, at least through A Realm Reborn, that they just, they say the same shit over, like, I get it, but you don't have to tell me, like, four fucking times. It's literally copy-pasting what you told me, like, five minutes ago. It's fine. I get it. I got it the first time. Please, just can we move on? Pray consider this when you give me your answer. I will go whether the wild rose blooms. I take it you will help us. I mean, you're giving me free shit. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Uh-huh. Tell me, does the name Charlianne ring any bells? 0.0. 0. .0. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. That, that means nothing to me. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Okay, so what's the deal? Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. Only a few, huh? When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. So these are all... immigrants, but... The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. I know. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Yep, we know. Hello there. Hi, Ida. Welcome. Hmm. Bet you would. I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. I'm sure. Me too. <laughs> I like that the framing of this shot, that their the size is so different that it just cuts off the top of her head. Synchronized pimp stance. Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. A boy Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda. Jewel of the desert. And he's a man for plenty of ladies. Mm hmm. Welcome to the team. Now, that voice is that? That's not Cam Clark, but that is definitely a voice actor I recognize. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Cutie cat lady. Last but not least is Orion J who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. That explains why his attire is boring, because he doesn't do any adventuring. Oh, your soul is pretty badass. Like, she's awesome. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. Is that Cam Clark? What are these motherfuckers as Cam Clark? Because Cam Clark's in everything. of a dear friend. I'm glad of our meeting. We relate to your region. Yeah, no, I can I can feel him. I feel him. He's kind of surrounded by idiots. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. That's the dude that got blown up in the intro, right? Uh, Louis Swa? Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. That's right, you don't you don't diss the secretary, she'll fuck your day up if you, you make her mad. Please to make your acquaintance. Oh, this is so cute. In time. I hope you will come to think of us as family. Eh, you'll probably be dead before then. But, without further ado, I would assign you your first task. 
Oh boy, that make you sound like so much fun. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Okay. Thancred, would you do the honors? Or. Sure. It right. would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. Amagina? That's how you pronounce that? Ajina? Okay, whatever. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. I thought we didn't care about those people because they were like poor immigrants and shit. At a glance, I mean, not we specifically, the like the royal we. Bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Okay, he just like swooped in and ate some people. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amosia, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. Ifrit? I always thought it was, okay. My dumbass westerner self, I always thought it was Ifrit, it's a freet. If okay. we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. Okay. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. Yeah, I know we just hired you like 20 minutes ago, but uh, yeah, we're going to have you take the lead on this. Have a blast, buddy. Hope that retainer works out for you. Yeah, pace. You Nod. have my thanks. Yeah, better. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. Uh huh. Everybody kind of stands around and then we're like, okay, we're done. We're cool. Boba Fett. Okay. Yo, thank Red. Well, that's the spirit. So then your mission is to investigate the crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Finds we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that the discoveries were made in relation to one further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on the caravan, our friends at Emma Gina and Sons Mineral Concern have doubled security all over their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem like a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Eisenbard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see what he gives us his full cooperation. We get to beat the shit out of him if he doesn't. Can I just teleport there? Oh. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Well, actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to return to New Verdania. Uh, dip. We're gonna actually do that. We're gonna teleport to Ulda. And actually, I think I may call it for now. It's been a little over three hours. I kind of need to use the potty. Uh, I definitely need to eat some food because I'm getting hungry. And I need to rest my voice a little bit because I suck! Ooh. Ooh, this is the uh, gold saucer quest, isn't it? Do be careful. Break anything and I should be forced to deduct it from your salary. Beg pardon? What is my loyal manservant carrying? Why, a not-so-small fortune and prizes that are ably won by yours at the Gold Saucer! You have heard of the Gold Saucer? Nay! It's your gads, man! You may at least try to keep up with the times. It's only the Sultanist's newest and finest place of entertainment. Thrill to the sight of majestic birds roaring down the streets of the Chocobo races. Pit your wits against the peers at the Triple Triad tables. Triple Triad! Best game ever made. I mean, it's really not, but I love it anyway. At the Gold Saucer, one can do this and all more, and if you know what you're about, you will walk out a wealthier man than you entered. If there's a better place to shake one off one's cares after a grueling day of promenading, I've never heard of it. This dude looks like a pimp. 
Did I mention the female attendants are particularly easy on the eye? Yay, sexism! Fuck you, buddy. But I dare say you'd rather discover them for yourself. Yes, I'll wager. Wondering just how Thal's good name, you can experience the wonders of the gold saucer firsthand. Am I right or am I right? Can I please kick you in the balls? Ha! I thought as much. Damn. Well, since it's been my lucky day, I don't see why it shouldn't be yours too. I just so happen to have a spare golden airship ticket, you see? Considered a gift from the one eligible man known about town to another. No, I love Gold Saucer. I've been there once before and it's just, it's always so amazing looking. Just show the ticket to the lovely uniform over at the landing and you'll have a seat the next air bar. dip 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 do You may expect no mercy from me should our pass across at the triple triad tables. Cool. All right. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Let me go to the airship. Sup? Let me go to the airship. At least, I don't think this quest gives me any experience. But, if nothing else, I can end the stream there. Just at the wonderful god and just, yeah. Feast your eyes upon the gold saucer. I love the music there. One of the only ones that actually shows the, the uh, intro of it, too. <laughs> That's his look of shock. It's just slight jaw drop. It's a giant cactar in the middle of the desert. Who thought it would be a good job to make a... What does it make? In the middle of the desert, but that's exactly Las Vegas. Never mind. Never mind. I love the gold saucer music. This is about as gaudy as Vegas would be, yeah. Chocobo Racing looks awesome as well. I loved Chocobo Racing in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, that poor, that poor Lala fell in a cactar suit. Rock Gorgon. Okay. I remember the first time coming in here a year and a half ago on my one Darkwing Duck character and I was just like, what is this? This is the coolest thing ever! And also, they get super bonus points for making the intro just long enough that the quest ends as soon as the song breaks down. Like, it just as the song, like, it drops the beat. It, it ends right at that point, so. I have not played the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I do not have a PS4. And as much as I said, I was like, I'm gonna buy a PS4 when the remake comes out. I just, well, I technically have a PS4 now. But I need to find the remake. I was trying to find it used, but, eh. So let's run to turn in the quest real quick. I'm not going to unlock those as of yet, because that's... I can do it later, basically. Like, look at this map. This map almost kind of makes no sense, because it's much more colorful than what I'm used to. Wait, is the, is the quest done? Oh. Oh, that's right. It literally completed the quest when I got here. Or was the Aetherite? There it is. Look how bright and shiny this is. Now granted, if I turn it off, that's a shine of, the sign of how bright and shiny it is that even with reshade turned off, it's like post-processing out the wazoo. But with the turned on, it's like ba-bam! Colors everywhere! This place is so bright and happy looking and I love the music. You can get cool stuff. This is why I didn't play in here too long because I could get sucked in here for a while. I remember my time in Final Fantasy VII's Gold Saucer and how much time I spent on freaking chocobo racing to get my damn gold chocobo. I remember those days. I remember. I remember. I've heard it's amazing. I, I heard it's actually kind of like a love it or hate it thing. They made changes to the story where if you were expecting just a straight up remake to the game, 
you were going to be disappointed, which kind of sucks because I was expecting like a straight up HD remake of the game and they took liberties and, and I mean, that's cool, but it, it kind of killed my enthusiasm for it, to be honest with you. I didn't learn anything more than that, just that they, the phrasing was like subverted expectations. They, some sort of weird, I don't, I don't know, don't spoil it to me, don't tell me about it. Like, I, if I ever decide to play it, I'll learn it for myself, but it's just, when I heard that it wasn't just literally an HD remake, I was like, oh, that's, like, I, I kind of don't want to play it now, so I'll get it at some point. But for now, I think I'm going to call it here in front of this amazingly shiny, incredibly shiny gold saucer, Aetherite Plaza here with an unintentional crotch shot. Sorry, dude. So I can rest my voice and go potty and eat food. But um, thank you for stopping by. I actually like the remake more than the original. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'll definitely, I may have to definitely pick it up then, but um, I'm going to call it for now. Thank you for stopping by. I'm, I'm glad I had a chance to see you again. I promise I'm not dead. Uh, I'm just working six days a week. Like, basically, peak season's happening. I work retail as a heads up. And see, he's standing up straight now with a pimp thing. What the fuck? Why can't you do that normally, man? What the balls? Posture, my dude. Posture, cat dude. Posture that shit. Come on, man. Think of your back. But anyway, I work retail, so at this point I'm working like 55, 60 hours a week, so I'm lucky to get to stream once. He looks like such a badass when he does that, though. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time, and peace out. Nothing greater than the gold saucer music to go on.